Well, I made you all wait, um, but hopefully the wait is worth it because we definitely have we have a big fight coming up, folks. Um, I'm gonna take my rocket battery here, my cannons over here. I'm gonna spread my halberds across uh, the map here to prevent. Yeah, flanking. I'm actually gonna kind of go up from here. There's that small hill right there to the rear of me, and I want that. Um, that will actually give a pretty good line of sight to some of my crane gunners. And let's see here. Let's get our units all set up. And long the riders. And I just got a couple of crossbows. Keep them in a safe position here. All right. And let's get all of our ranged units on a defensive stance. We're actually going to put our infantry into a defensive stance as well, because I do not want them to chase. All right. Now we just have to sit back and wait. I'm going to fast forward for a bit. All right, I'm going to go do some scouting with my long riders and some baiting, actually. Um... I want to go try and bait some key units like that Terror Geist. If we can bait them in early, then we can focus fire them more effectively rather than if they all move up as a single army. So we're going to try and draw that Terror Geist up here. I don't know how our speed compares, but we're at speed 105. There we go. Let's try and get the attention of that Terror Geist. I don't want to get charged by it. If it is low armor, I mean, I probably could just take it out in a fight, but we're far away from our own lines, and leadership could be... Oh, yeah, it's, it's coming all in for me now. We're just going to run away. And we're going to pull it within range of our crane gunners. See how I'm going to pull it straight across this, this cone of fire there? And I'm going to try and position it so that we can focus it out. Here it comes. It's in range. Crane gunner is going to open fire. Now we're going to keep trying to pull them across that firing arc. We want to try and keep our own units out of the friendly fire. We did take a few shots there. Okay. Now the Terror Geist is just coming straight in, and he's going to get absolutely annihilated. So there we go. It's a free unit in the books. Don't let him get his breath attack off. Oh, BS. Okay, didn't do much. Okay. Crane Gunner's down. I see some juicy targets over here. Um, Blood Knights and Hex Wraiths. Infantry wise, uh, the vampire infantry is going to be weak, but the more of them we kill with rockets, the better. I'm going to target the Blood Knights. The Hex Wraiths are actually pretty killable with my um, Sentinels. So, those type of units will be quite easy to deal with with the Terracotta Sentinels because of their massive magical damage. Good hits in the Blood Knight. We just killed four unit models. Zombies, I mean... We can just thin the zombies. I'm not going to use all my rockets, but I'll distribute a few rockets. Okay, we've got chargers coming in here. They're not doing well charging straight into halberds. Focus fire here in a moment. I'm going to take my cannon and target the Crypt Horrors. I'm going to take my rockets and target there. Yeah, see the massive magic damage that we're dropping on the Wraiths. I'm going to try and save as much of my magic in reserve as I can, because we may need it. Let's give a quick charge here while that unit's exposed. We definitely do not want friendly fire from our own rockets, so as the units approach, we're gonna we're gonna switch targets. Blaze the dragons! 
Okay. So we crunched those hex wraiths. Let's go after their leader a little. That Banshee would be an excellent target for my Terracotta Sentinel as well. I do have the Comet of Kazandora, which can cause tremendous damage to infantry blobs, and we will use it liberally as needed. Our rockets now have an excellent column formation target headed our way, so I'm going to let it rip. Um, I'm going to just let my cannon fire in that direction as well. There we go. This is looking like a pretty juicy target over here for some magic, so let's put a comet on it. We have to be careful with the comet. We cannot place it too close to our own units, because it will cause friendly fire. Very effective. We just took out a lot of their units there. Their leader is not liking life right now. I don't think we need extra armor piercing. To be very effective with our magic damage here. Beautiful target right now for our rockets. Again, oh, that actually curved and came across my own men for some reason. It must have bounced off some kind of terrain feature there. Cavalry! Dragon Guard! March in ordered ranks! That's really frustrating the way that bounced off my own troops there. Alright, is that Helm and Gorst? It is. I need to turn my crane gunners back forward facing. For some reason, my terracotta sentinel is getting a little bit roasted over here. I'm going to bring another one over to support. This is just an amazing blob back there. Um, I really need my rockets to shred into that blob. That is just thousands of kills waiting. All right. Gorse is in range of our crane gunners. The cannon has already started tearing him a new butthole. I'm going to pull this Terracotta Sentinel away from the fight momentarily. Retarget over here. The Banshee's being rather annoying. My unit just will not pull out of that fight for some reason. Gorse is being... Shot up. I'm now scared of that Blossom Wind because it looks like really good magic, but if it, if it won't hold in the line that I intend it, then it's really not good for me. Let's try aiming that one a little further away from our own troops there. There we go. That one was pretty effective. Let's grab another comet. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Get get off here. Uh, my rockets are killing me. Literally. Alright, the corpse card is almost down. Um, we're losing troops over here, so I'm going to have to call upon some reinforcements to hold this blob. Get in there and hold the blob. What's the overcast do? It's just extra armor piercing. We do not need extra armor piercing. This is the densest part of the blob right there. I think if we keep working down blob... Now, the vampires have even more reinforcements approaching. We're going to keep leader sniping. Oh, that comet was pretty brilliant. We are going to just kind of keep shredding the vampire blob with magic damage. The more we keep eating away at that infantry blob, and I'm just going to let my... I'm going to let my big units tank that for a moment. Okay, there goes another leader. The vampires are now 
in the process of crumbling. We've got the Comet back. There's a beautiful looking spot right here. I think we're going to win this because we were able to take care of the key units. Oh, rest in pieces, all my frames. But boy, what a beautiful shot. I'm going to just keep putting the heat on this blobby fight here. Eventually, it should just crumble them. Like, I think we'll just overpower the power bar, even. There, yeah, there's more reinforcements on the way, too, so our cannon has new targets. That's why we haven't seen a complete defeat for the vampires yet, which also means we don't want to get our big units killed yet. There is a hero over here. Let's see if we can kind of pin him against the uh, the fence, so to speak. We're going to continue to rip on this blob everything we got. Hold tight for just a minute. Hold tight, hold tight. Let's see if we can go collapse one of these infantry fights. Did I pull reinforcements over? I did. Let's pull those over because we might need them. What's going on over here? Let's keep cleaning up these blobs. Alright, we're gonna kill those corpse carts. We're gonna keep doing leadership damage. Um, I'm gonna move away from that real quick. I'm gonna see if I can use my crossbows to KO that unit. Let's go ahead and pull back and cycle charge again. Another sniper target. And then we're gonna take these fell bats head on. Okay. Nah, he ignored us. Let's just, let's get him tied up with my... Halberds, he's really not going to love that fight. Okay, how we doing? See if we can bail our sorcerer as that fight. We took out the bats. We're doing good. I mean, it's about as good as we can hope for here. We are really pummeling the Vampire Infantry with everything we got here. Ooh, it's actually gonna hit my own guys. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. There we go. Let's get back in the air. Okay. All right, the enemy leader just went down. Got another comet available. I'm gonna keep dropping it. But we gotta drop it away from our own leader. I'm gonna try and get my two sentinels back to safety now. I may need them to kill. No, 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 what are you guys doing down there? Okay, we have blasted so many vampires. Back to the Oblivion. Oh, there's more coming, too. What is that, a Blood Knight? It is. Target, fire at will, please. Get out of that fight. Get off the ground. I want you guys back in line. Need to get back in line over here. My leader just cannot seem to finally put all these units down. I might send my Cav over to help. Get out of the fight, you're a gigantic automaton. Goodness sakes. Alright, we're getting good hits on the Blood Knights. I keep thinking the vampires have to crumble at any moment. 
then they just keep proving me wrong. Cavalry! The dragons ask! H wins! To me! Let's see if we can help our leader out. We just cannot seem to get the final crumble going here. We are actually totally out of magic. We used it well. Are we are we gonna get outlasted on this one, even performing the way we have? Man, surely not. Surely not. And I hope not. Trying so hard to crumble all this crap. Crossbows, I need you to bring down those blood knights, and I need it bad. Look at these guys running forward. Oh, they're out of ammunition. I was like, why are they running forward? That's why. Because we've spent so much ammunition in defense of Cathay. Let's be smart. So, nothing stupid here. Let's see if we can get our lord away from this as well. Um, let's dive bomb this one more time. I don't want my leader to route right there next to the edge of the map. Take this one off there. Get in there and help out. All right, what do we got left coming? I've got a few more cannonballs. We have more blood knights. We have still got just a huge line of vampires coming. We did get rid of all the rest of those Cairn Wraiths. I'm gonna wish that I had had some healing here, that's for sure. Golly, I'm gonna do the damage that I can do over here. It pleases the dragons. It is amazing how difficult a time we are having to crumble these units. Like, I am just almost dumbfounded here how well the vampires are holding up. Alright, we've got to shoot up these blood knights. We can't afford that. I don't know if there's even any vampire leaders left. Like, so I don't know what is holding them together in terms of keeping them binding. Warriors! Celestial Fury. I'm just gonna Dragon keep God. picking at them. Shen I'm gonna go run some more rear charges. My leadership is alive, though our magic Pace is empty. I think we picked off Celestial that Blood Knight about the best we could. My, okay, there we go. There we go. Wow. I mean, this was a horde of vampires. If we have ever seen a horde, that that was it. We won. We won. That was absolutely epic. That was incredible. I mean, we were up against some very long odds there. We won. We took home 10,000 gold of loot. And we picked up 9,180 experience points. The Reap one isn't going to do much, but there could be another army behind it that we have to fight. So I'll take what very little is on offer. Our army retreated the wrong direction. So Kolek has brought forces against us. Um, War host of the Apocalypse. Some of these reinforcements are actually Archaeon. So those two armies from Archaeon actually teamed up with Kolek. So they must have... I didn't see them as part of a treaty, but they must be at this point. Let's take a look at the map. The auto-resolve says we're going to do good. Um, and I'm tempted to auto-resolve this because this is a lot of enemies. They have the Soul of Damnation. That's going to hurt us badly. They've got two of them. The AI can do a tremendous amount of damage with those units. they got Kolek. He's got Lightning. They've got a wizard here that does all the Zinchi magic. This is going to hurt us a whole bunch. So, I mean, like, actually defeating their infantry and the units here, not much of a concern, but you all wouldn't believe... Or maybe you would if you've been playing against Skaven. The amount of damage that the AI can do with some Hell Cannons and some Wizards. I mean, they're going to take out probably six or 700 of my troops. Maybe eight with just that alone. Um, and since I know that these guys are working together, I don't think there's a whole lot of other enemies in the vicinity. Let's look at the terrain. If we have a very defensive place to fight from where I can use my advantage at range then that's fine. But if the terrain's unfavorable, I think we should take the auto-resolve. This is the terrain. The problem here, though, is it doesn't show me where reinforcements are going to be coming from. 
So, I don't like this. Um, for all I know, these reinforcements could be coming from all around me, and that happens pretty frequently, and then if I go fight this battle, and that's the case, and we get screwed because of the reinforcements, I'm going to lose my two main armies. So, I know you all are going to hate to see this, but I am going to auto-resolve this one. We just fought a huge epic battle. I'd love to fight another one. I, I just don't trust that we don't get screwed on this. Um, so, I'm going to take the auto-resolve because it looks very appealing. Um, and that, that, this battle could have gone very south very quickly. Wow, we picked up a ton of loot there. Um, if we had ended up with bad reinforcement positions. And I have no way to see that in the current state of things. I didn't see how they moved against me on the map. So without a way to analyze that, that it, it, in my mind, it's just too much of a risk. They will earn their lives. There is another army here for the war host of the apocalypse. It looked like it was not involved in that. We're replenishing, but replenishment is going to be piss poor up here. Shogun Gun Lord reporting. We can improve it by building this. We've already given ourselves plus nine percent. I mean, so we we should have mostly made up for the poor replenishment rates, but it's still bad. I swear, there's like more detriment to replenishment than they care to admit. The Jade Longmo. Okay, so we, we got a lot done on that turn. And yeah, see, look, there's more armies around. <laughs> there's more armies around. Um, so we're going to move... The Storm Dragon. Move Miao Ying. So Miao Ying is the stronger of these two armies. There is really no good garrison here for all intents and purposes. Erect a shrine to our ancestors. They need replenishment worse, so I'm going to put them in settlement. I've got these guys in reinforcement range. Ready to defend. I think these are our last couple of upgrades that we get to put on Miao Ying. I'm going to give her her extra hit points. And then let's take a look here at our alchemist, which is now... This is highest level. Oh, let's do this here. Doesn't really matter what we spend that one on at that point. Okay, this army... My true Got to tier 27. Um, probably be good at this point to take lightning strike because they may have to venture out on their own. And I was born to wield being able to pick apart m multiple enemy armies could be helpful. Well, wow, we took out a lot of armies there. That was super helpful, but there was two more. So we killed three, and then there's two more readily at hand. And we picked up a ton of cash from that victory, which is great because we're trying to fund yet another army here. Got raiding going on from Beastmen. It's a whole other reason to have that army ready because we worked hard to capture this stuff and bring it under our control, and we don't want to lose control of it. Let's go ahead and spend some cash, kind of securing, securing some things here. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and spend some cash on these wall settlements as well. Born to rule. And Gao, we can go ahead and... We've been saving for a long time to build those expensive recruiting buildings. We need those. Okay. Grimgore is pulling together a wall over here, so he's about to get pretty scary. Spread the Emperor's word. I'm going to move these two armies together so we can keep Grimgore under in check. He's got another army coming up behind the ogres here. So despite me trying to prop the ogres up, they are still struggling. Just to give you an idea. Now this army, like I said, it fled in a really idiotic direction. Still tons of vampire armies here. And we're going to need to pick them off uh, in order to properly weaken these guys. I'm going to do that. Let's... My ancestors require it. Let's go ahead and kill this army, kill this vampire stack. Oh look, they get to run away the right direction. How convenient. Okay. My auto resolve, is it going to kill off my statues? It says it's not. Yeah, better darn well not. I don't know if it shows the damage down here. I think it would. 
Ooh, that scares me, and you can see why. They almost did. Okay, so we knocked that army out. We can now take this army back to safety. Fly the Emperor's flag. Move this army back to safety and replenish. And then we're gonna take this Dragon army. And I'm gonna pick off some more enemies here. I will not. This guy is not within reinforcement range and it's in forced march. So we can pick off two of the vampire forces here, which will probably send them beating a hasty retreat. We will bring order. All right. Yeah, I imagine we'll see a pretty hasty retreat from the vampires here. All right. Reassuring presence. Got a lot of skill points to take care of here. Justician is looking pretty good right now because punishment is an ever-present need. Harmony, spell resistance, um, Plague of Rust is really good, let's use Plague of Rust. Alright, this, this lady picked up three skill points from that massive fight, and I'm not in the least bit surprised. Alright. Arcane Con, Magic Reserves, Chain Lightning... All right, folks, this has been a pretty successful episode. I haven't taken any settlements, but we won against, let's see, I think it was three or four armies of vampires and three more armies from Chaos, so at least six or seven enemy armies defeated. Um, so that is a pretty solid result. Grimgore is still on the horizon here, though, and the Greenskins, are, they're not done. <laughs> They're not out of the fight yet, and it's kind of funny, like, I'm, I'm rolling, I've got some big, strong armies, and yet, we aren't just face-rolling everybody, like, we still have to be careful, and we are ending up with big, challenging fights. So this has been fun. This has definitely been fun, um, and it's going to continue to be interesting, I think. So, let's go with Plague of Rust there. Yeah, so we've got a lot to do. There is much to do. I'm actually going to take some of the money that we earned here and continue our recruiting process. Um, as far as... Oh, we can recruit sentinels here. That's good. We're going to definitely want a couple of those. And then I'm going to want... At least a couple of... Celestial Dragon... Yeah, I mean, that that should work. It'll be a good start. We're also going to need some other units, but we can get those nearby, I believe. We can actually go recruit those Celestial Dragon ones over there. Celestial Ancestors. I don't know. We'll just sit, we'll sit there and recruit. Um, it, it should be okay. Should be all right. Natural Authority. Yeah, getting those Sentinels local would be good, so we definitely want that. And I guess I'll start working on those Celestial Dragon Guard just because. Anyway, folks, this is going to be a good place to end our episode. We've had some very nice uh, success here. Extra leadership when fighting chaos. Wujing War Compass. This winds of power minus upkeep. I mean, let's just push our way all the way across that. The Celestial It'll keep Empire us in balance right now. Moves. Um, we'll spend that money next time on some buildings when we get back as well. Uh, I need to end the turn, though, so it'll save my game. I will see you all on the next episode, and we're going to continue the fight as Grand Cathay. Our enemies are many, <laughs> and his equals are none. Isn't that, the, isn't that what we got from Napoleon back in the day? <laughs> all right, folks, I will see you next time. Heir of Cathay, signing out for now. See you then. Okay, so actually I said that was going to be the end, but this popped up on the turn end. It begins, folks. The Wild Hunt. The Biggest Wah. The Vermintide. 
the Vampiric Ascension, the Black Pyramid, and a grudge too far. I didn't realize I had them all turned on. <laughs> Look what just spawned behind me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we're ever going to make it to the long campaign victory. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. We would have, had we not had the world come collapsing down in our head. We were only 13 away, and uh, Clan Eshin is now back alive, by the way. Right in the middle of our territory, of all places. And I have no army to face them. Wow. Great preparedness, Air. Great preparedness. Um, so we are going to have Clan Eshin right in the middle of our territory. Grimgor just picked up the biggest Wa, so he is going to be stacked. Karak Azorn came back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going to be such a nasty fight. Oh my gosh, there are green skins absolutely everywhere. Oh, there's going to be Wood Elves too. There's probably wood elves up in here, like a whole bunch of them. I don't know whether these guys are going to turn on us or not either. They want a whole bunch of money to supposedly not attack me. I don't know if I trust that. Wow. Okay. Things are going to get spicy. Um, and it's probably going to put this campaign into a never-ending grind. Um, so yeah, I'll think through this. We'll play an episode or so to see what spiciness comes of all this, and I will see you all next time. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.